Hello everyone, welcome to the tutorial of Get Plugins. In my last video, I showed you how to create color swatches by creating custom product attribute. But today I'm going to show you how to create color swatches from existing custom product attribute. If you still didn't check my last video, then please do check my video. The video link will be given in the description box. So without any further delay, let's get into the video. To turn your variable product attributes variations into color swatches from the existing custom product attribute, you need to install both the free and premium version of variation swatches for OCommerce plugin. To install the free version of the plugin, navigate to add new from plugins. Now search for variation swatches for OCommerce plugin by Imran Ahmed. Now install the plugin. The plugin has more than 200,000 active installations and plenty of 5 stars ratings. After completing the installation, activate the plugin. Now your plugin is activated. Now you need to enable the premium version of the plugin. To purchase the premium version of the plugin, go to the link gettoplugins.com. Click on plugins and click on variation swatches for OCommerce. Now purchase this plugin. Once you purchased the plugin, then download the zip file of the plugin. After that, navigate to plugins, then add new. Click on upload plugin and choose the downloaded zip file of the plugin. Now install the plugin. Once the installation is completed, then activate the plugin. So both the free and premium version of variation such as for WooCommerce plugin are installed and activated. Let's see the product in which I want to add color swatches. So this is the product. This product has a color attribute with red, green and blue variation. Now head to your product backend to add color swatches into your product. Now click on attributes to see the custom product attribute. So this is my custom product attribute. So the custom product color attribute has the red, green and blue variations. Now click on swatches settings. Select color type for the color attribute and click on save swatches settings button. Go to the product front end. So you can see the change but still the variations are not showing any colors because we have only selected color type for the color attribute but we didn't define any color for the variations. So to define the colors for the variations, go back to product backend and expand the color attribute. Click on red variation. Select red color from the color picker and click on save such as settings button. Again go to the product front end. So you can see red variation is showing the red color but others are still blank. So we will follow the same process to fill colors in rest of the variations. Now again go back to the product backend and click on green variation. Select green color from the color picker. Click on blue variation. Select blue color from the color picker. Now click on save such as settings button. Again go to the product front end. So you can see, blue and green variations are also successfully showing their identical colors. That's all for today. Don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon to get all the notifications of the latest videos. If you have any query, please write it down in the comment section. Thank you.